what is up you guys? This is the Brazen Travel Foam Roller, okay? It, it, it collapses, you see this? Here is the Peak Travel Backpack, all right? One of my favorite backpacks for traveling with. You can check out all my favorite travel bags at matterful.co slash travel. But, just to get you a sense of this thing collapsed, right? It doesn't, when you're in an actual travel bag, it doesn't take up a ton of space. Where's my, here's the Peak Designs packing cube. I like that packing cube a lot. Um, it's very lightweight and, uh, and it has like a dirty clothes compartment. But look, you can see like this thing doesn't necessarily add a ton of size or weight to your bag, but is it worth it to bring with you? I mean, is it solid? Does it actually stay put? Or does it break? Is it good as a foam roller? Yeah, it actually is. So when I travel, what are you doing? You're sitting in a fucking airplane, man, and you're decompressing, like you're like all the the you're getting bloated, and you're like all the air, the recycled air. You come off, you're farting for like a day and a half, you know, just decompressing. One of the things that can be really valuable is getting some pressure, getting some movement, getting some, you know, getting some stretch going in all those joints that you've been hanging off of, all those tendons and all that fascia that's just been like rotting into place as you eat like peanuts and sugar bars. Listen, foam rolling is a little bit of a, of a secret weapon for people who are upgrading your number one tool in, in your life, which is your body. Okay, you are locked into this thing. If this thing can do stuff that you like to do out in the world, you like your life, <laughs> okay? If this thing feels good, you like your life. This can help it feel good. Is it actually collapsible? Yes, it is. Is it actually doable as a foam roller? Yes, it's totally secure. Up to 350 pounds. So I've had this thing for months now. I've been crushing on this thing. It's it's like this one and then this guy. This is the uh this is the big boy. All right. This one is not a travel fucking foam roller. I'll put a link to this one in the description below at this time code. This thing is the the business. This is the best for at home. This I used at home for a long time just by itself. Totally satisfying. This, these guys, just working on your feet on this, let alone your spine. I go up my spine on this. It's like click, 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 click. The original, the original and the best for travel is actually just a little simple lacrosse ball. A link to my favorites below. You can just get any one. A tennis ball can work, but a tennis ball compresses a lot. So when you're in that, one of those hard, like you really wanna get into there sort of thing, the, the tennis ball might not have enough pressure to get in there. Uh, arguably, <laughs> that might be a good thing. Now, I will travel with this thing because, you know, it's like, there's a few things in life where you know if you do them, you're going to feel better, right? And then there's like all the other stuff that we just like end up doing, like we end up watching Patriot Act on Netflix, like Hasan Minhaj's great show about some news items that are like actually really fucking interesting for like current modern tech world, man. And sometimes that feels good to have watched that, but my life isn't necessarily upgraded. Every time I do something like this, there's a sense of personal satisfaction a little bit, but also that the sort of endorphin kind of thing where after it's like you've done a workout. So if there's something small and something collapsible that we can put into a travel bag and get us a little pleasure in our body so that we have a little pleasure in our mind when we're going through the day and meet, taking a meeting somewhere or doing something, like that's going to affect that meeting, man. Let me talk to you about a couple of these other ones because this, this thing right here, this is like, I, I think I paid like 17 bucks for this on Amazon or something. Uh, sensational. I'll link to one below, the whatever I recommend. <laughs> in the time, I'll probably change my recommendations on these as companies maybe send them in. But this, you lie down on your back, okay? And you just do it. You gotta be careful, all right? Listen, you baby boomers, you gotta be careful. Don't wanna get yourself into injuries on any of this stuff. Such a fine line between pain and discomfort. But this thing is great. I mean, we've all fallen in love with this thing around here. Uh, you go into phases with some of these things. Like you'll use one a lot of the times. The foam rollers I end up using a lot because it's just pressure, uh, it's, it's massage, it works. This is nice to get that back arched around it and do the lower back stuff. I got a lot of lower back stuff, man. Okay, you've seen some of these around. This actually ends up being pretty useful, okay? It really does, especially when you just, it's that spot. It's that. 
That's what this is for, right fucking there, right there. Now, if you can relax that thing and not just grind into it, there's a whole trick to doing this foam roller, body work type of stuff. It's called unclenching. It's like, actually, it's, a, it's, a, it's an unclench, and then you have mobility into that thing, okay? But you can, gut, you can sit there and grind away it on all you want. But the, again, the, di di the difference between pain and discomfort is related to results. But this thing, it can be really good. I use it less than all of this. What I, what I, what I really only use it for is I get a little, I get a thing right there. I mean, I've had a thing right there for like 20 years, I think. It's from guitar playing. I played a lot of guitar growing up and I just fucking did this. And then there's this, and then there was this one. Now, funny story about this. This is called the So Right. They just got me on Instagram ads. They just totally got me. And it was like, it was $70. This is just plastic, okay? You wanna talk about like, <laughs> you wanna talk about profit. These guys are making profit, but here's the deal. I am really glad I, I don't care. They could have charged 120 bucks for it. Um, I probably wouldn't have bought it at the time. It would have taken longer to do it, but eventually I would have. Because what this does, just, it's perfect, okay? You're lying on the ground, put this on the ground. You're lying down, it goes into your psoas, okay? So right, P-S-O, right? Psoas, P-S-O-A-Z, I believe. This goes down in there, and then again, you're relaxing, you're unclenching, and then your weight of your body is on top of it, all right? And it is, uh, it's the business. I still can't tell, the, the, dis, the, the difference between pain and just discomfort is harder to tell with this thing, but you can grind away and open up all sorts of this stuff down in here, which is just, we don't touch that, you guys. We collapse, we sit, we sit like this, and then all of that stuff is atrophied. All of that stuff is just So it's hard for us to stand up. It's hard for our hips to get the actual thing that we need because this is all tight. So this is this is badass business. All you have to do is like sit down, like lie down on it for five minutes and relax and unclench. $70, you be the judge. Some of you are gonna be like actually buying it. I know one of you right now is just going like, okay, yeah, like uh, I'm gonna do that because Anything we can do for our bodies is what we're doing for our minds, right? It's what we're doing for our relationships, okay? When all of this stuff starts working smoother, everything, like a rising tide floats all boats kind of thing, well, you are the linchpin. You're the thing that touches your relationships, that touches your productivity, that touches your mindset, that touches your body. Like you're, you're where all of that comes together. And I find that the mind's connection to the body is so intrinsic that working on the body is just about every bit as good as working on the mind up to a point. Some people have been working the body for a long time, totally atrophied working the mind. So it just depends on where you are, where you are in that, in that thing, right? You know, everybody's, Life's a little bit different. But I like this thing, man. If you've been thinking about it and you're like, I don't know if I should do this or not, let me just say it's seriously well quali like well crafted. It's put together well. It's not gonna let you down 350 pounds. It's it compresses enough, right? It compresses enough for actual travel. Just lay that on top of your of your duffel bag. To be able to have the kind of foam roller stuff, I love getting the back of my hips, the underside of my thighs, the front side of my thighs. Goodness gracious. You wanna, <laughs> you wanna wake up. Hello. So for all you thinking about this, didn't know if it was good or not, that's my take. Thanks for watching. Listen, if you're interested in conscious consumption, if you're interested in buying things that actually matter for our life, like meaningful, productive, results-oriented things, subscribe here to this channel and if you're still watching this video, I mean, why are you why are you why are you still here? You should come over to Instagram and say what's up. Check out the link below. All right. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.